November uh, November 5th, 2017. This is my third try doing this video. Um, besides the pictures, the pictures, what the pictures are, for the most part, if you're looking at like the weird looking beans and crafts, those are zoomed in stills of um, a lot of the craft that's in these videos. And um, sometimes I like in a lot of the eclipse pictures, like I got a lot of stills of them. But I know, you know, when you're trying to watch it on YouTube and uh, watching it on your desktop or especially a cell phone, you're not going to see it in the original. So I uh, do my best to zoom it in. Um, if I zoom it in with, and capture it on the computer, it gets so pixelated. So I tried different routes. I use uh, magnifying glasses, and cameras, and um, micro lenses and stuff like that. Um, the video that I'm showing you is uh you've seen the video already um at one point it looks like these two craft are fighting each other possibly and at one point it looks like there's some laser laser beams being shot and i think there is at one point but there's um <coughs> two areas i noticed that they didn't shoot correctly so i broke it down analyzed it a little closer and, and realized that it's uh some type of energy wave coming off the sun. And I hate to be so negative, but it seems like it's like a I'm trying to use it for a weapon, maybe or something. Some strange times we're living in. Somebody um, I respect um, their their opinion and, and their thoughts one hundred percent. And she's got a really good idea and view on this. I really, I really, I really like it and respect it. Um, but like it, she's saying it, it's dimensional, which I agree 100% that, uh, things in different dimensions are, are different. Times are different. S times may be different. It may be stuck in a loop. You know, it could move faster. It can move slower, which totally makes sense. And possibly if we're looking into the future or the past these things are stuck in a time loop which I'd have to say that's a really good possibility you know you got that impossible channel he thinks that it's um, another district um, molding into ours and there's some movie that came out in 2011 that backs this theory up I don't really know a whole lot about it but um, in all the years I've been truth researching um, if the research has led me and the last thing is the Bible and the Bible backs it up I find that truth to be its pu at the purest and it's the strangest thing for years I didn't even believe in God well I believed in God but I didn't follow the, the right way you know and uh, not that I was a bad guy or anything I just was the last thing in my mind was God and the Bible but as truth researching when it kept on leading me down that road I began to see you know when I was looking for the truth it was always in that book and if it wasn't it used a bunch of nonsense or disinformant but um I seen a picture of a fallen angel, cherubin fallen angel back in 2011. And um, that's uh, the being that I got in my channel picture looked identical to it. I mean, different colors and everything, but the same body structure and the same feature and the same stance. And then, you know, I have like this futuristic craft flying around in one picture. And then the next picture, it's the same craft, but now it's a being with wings. I mean, what do you, what do you want me to really think it is? I know these angelic beings, they morph and change, and a cherubin's fallen. A uh, cherubin angel's favorite form is the classic US UFO. Um, I know D-Wave and CERN, you know, they were messing around with stuff, and they 
showed pictures of other dimensions bleeding into their ours on uh the grounds over there at CERN. Um, this is they called it some kind of art festival or something like that a couple months ago. And the other thing too is since I started filming these things I've had such a dark negative cloud over me and like the worst of the worst and the bad things um been happening is um you know I don't point my fingers at other people and blame my problems on it, anybody else but me because in the end even if somebody did cause a problem for me I'm the one that's gonna have to fix it in order for my life to be normal and right so either way, I am take responsibility for um, the bad things that happen. But sometimes it's just like ass kicking after ass kicking. And I mean, when you something is taking from you and you out of your control, even if you're doing the right thing paying your bills on time and doing all this stuff and things just keep keep losing and it's completely out of your control you have to begin to ask yourself well who am I around that's doing this why and when yeah you don't have anybody or anything to um see the cause of, uh, of your demise it's like where's this coming from and uh I'm gonna slip a picture in of a entity that's been seen around um probably in about a mile, square mile mile and a half in this area establishments bars homes my home several times it's been seen and the photo is um at the end of my street it's a black cloud it's a literally black cloud people around here suffer some of the same things that I do um, just unreal amounts but for me I always kind of tied it in with the research especially the first time I had my encounter with what I thought was a drone I watched that video over and over again because I lost the photos and this drone changes into some scary stuff. And the second time I took pictures of it, it went from a drone to an airplane. I don't know if you remember that video or not. But it, both times it was like that. I don't believe in luck, but let's just call it luck for easier ex explanation. Each time my luck got worse. Now, it could be just all in my head and I'm just a fuck up. Or my interactions with these beings are sucking my energy, my positive energy out of me. I don't know. Could it be uh, the, be the entity that is in this photo that I keep showing you? I'll, sh I'll put it in here a couple times so you catch it. I don't know. And, uh, but Friday was the final straw on that. This, um, relentless bad karma just coming back and me having to pay it. When it's not necessary, it's been paid already. It's just kicking my ass. I was working 20 years, I've worked with saws professionally had close calls, used them in stupid ways, um, broke, purposely break guards off of them, um, cut them, skill saw, two inches from my face, you know, just things that you shouldn't be doing with them. I've always been uh, fortunate, always respected it. Um, I was cutting uh, trim, of all things. It's probably the safest saw you got, but also the nastiest probably one of the na more nastier ones if you were to get hit with it my blade was getting pretty dull but I didn't want to change it out because I had to tap out the the bolt that holds the saw blade on because it fused on 
I had a new one, but I was more worried about breaking the saw and not being able to get the blade off and not being able to use it. So I was trying to wait until the trim work slowed down to change it. I don't know if it was because the blade was dull, if it was just my time. But as soon as I hit that wood, something didn't feel right, and I tried to pull my hand out of there. And uh, all the years of using this type of saw, it never done this to me. I've had it kick wood out at me and stuff. But it pulled the wood in, it pulled my hand into the blade. It was on a compound, uh, like a bevel 45, pointed right at my hand, so... <laughs> There was just no, as quick as I could be, I wasn't quick enough. And it, being the blade, being dull, it just um, didn't cut my fingers off. It just ripped them into pieces. It took the doctor almost two and a half hours to piece them back together. And uh, you can't even, I mean, he did a really good job, but you can't even tell. <laughs> they were just mutilated and just, just in a, tips of my fingers and you know the middle fingers a little bit more the cuts like a moon shape like a crescent and uh that's got the more stitches in it and the index finger is like super deep and i remember before they put the stitches in i wouldn't look at it and i looked at it and it just looked like a uh, shredded roast beef like somebody stuck the <laughs> in a blender or something couldn't even tell their fingers. I didn't even know skin would look like that being ripped. But, um, he pieced them back together best he could. And if you got a weak stomach, the last picture I'll show you, I'll show you probably the better one of the two because they're pretty, pretty gnarly and I don't want to, the worst one I wouldn't want to show you. So, um, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if my finger's going to work right. I know they're not going to look right. So I don't know if I'll be able to play the guitar. I don't know if I'll be able to do my job. I do know I'm in the process of moving. And uh, and I have to move. I told, said my situation before. I'm not going to get back into it. But... um. No, no, I can't even go to work, and uh, I'm basically a subcontractor, so um, I don't really know what I'm going to do about money. I'm self, self-reliant, self, self, you know, I depend on myself, so I don't know what's going to happen, but it is what it is, I guess, and uh, y'all take care, and Remember, uh, if you're stuck in the root of uh, bad karma, try to your best to get out of it. I hear uh, some type of wave of grace coming over the earth and help to help everybody get out of this uh, bad karma they're going through, that they're putting themselves through. But the people that don't get out of it and miss that wave of grace... Uh, they're saying you could be screwed you're gonna miss your bus <laughs> so to speak oh yeah um one more thing um damn it. I forgot what it was I'll have to get back with you on it but anyways um oh exactly a year ago the day I cut my finger on my way home from the hospital I had to drive myself like uh, like 150 miles home. Um, I stopped off at my spot. And I was like, you know, I was like, my fingers are still n- no caned up. And I know I'm not going to feel like doing nothing for the next couple of weeks. So I wanted to get a couple pictures in. And I was taking pictures. And as I was packing up in the truck, I noticed something in the sky. So I took pictures of these thing and uh i looked i got the same object a year ago exactly to the day same exact object and i posted it too as a matter of fact on um on youtube 
So you can go back, probably one of my first videos, one of the first 10 videos I did maybe on this channel. So you can see for yourself. That's one thing, I, that was the reason why I really started putting my work on YouTube is because of this. Because I could document. So it's a little thing you can do some research on my channel if you want. Y'all take care. Mm-hmm.